was still under the bed, sleeping under my friend's bed, I asked myself, why didn't I take those pills or why didn't I inject myself? But still I remembered those methods, they can only protect you from getting pregnant, but they cannot protect you from getting HIV and infections. Hello family, once again, welcome back to this channel. My name is Masi Masifu. Yes, I'm happy to see you watching my videos. Thank you for the encouraging comments. Thank you for liking and thank you for sharing with others. Yes, and if you're new here, please subscribe and be part of this family. Yeah, this is a peaceful family. You're welcome. Yes, feel at home. Yeah, this channel, I share my life journey as a housemaid. I'm from Uganda and I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm working as a housemaid, house girl, kadama, shagala, call it the way you want so long as I'm earning. <laughs> and I'm proud. <laughs> proud shagala, kajambo. Proud shagala, housemaid, shagala, kadama, kajambo. Yes, today's video I want to share with you on my way to Saudi Arabia when I was coming yeah it was one day I got a call from the office and they they were like do you know what tomorrow prepare yourself uh, they called me like three days before and they were like please prepare yourself on Tuesday you are going so I was like wow I washed my bag, I washed my clothes, and I was so eager to, you know, to leave home and I go to the office. Yes, the day came, we, I went with my sister at the office because she had, she, I needed someone to sign for me. So I took her along with me. We went to the office. When we reached there, she signed. And I found there my fellow housemaids who were also coming with me. I came with an, a group of girls. We were 13. So we had to, she had to sign my sister after she left me with those girls. So we had to sleep at the office. But unfortunately, we never slept that very day. We were 13, we never slept, we kept on rotating around, like chatting. But before we could come to the office and meet some different girls, and this is one advice I got from them, but I never applied it because it's not what I wanted to come and do. They were like, you uh, you girls one certain girl came up and she was like you girls you are going but make sure you inject yourself with a family planning method or you take any family planning method along with you but to me i'm a believer i believe in god to me i don't believe in family planning or maybe to you you believe in them but for me i've never used them and i will never use them because I, I i wanted to come and work as a housemaid but i never wanted to come and sleep with men around that is one thing if you know you're coming to work as a housemaid why should you take pills or why should you inject yourself with a family planning that is one thing that is the question i had also, which I did not even get a question, uh, an answer for it. So to me, I never took that family planning. So, so okay, some girls took it, but uh, that very day when we were coming, 13 girls, one, one came with an idea and she was like, you girls, have you taken the pills or have you injected yourself with a family planning method? So we were discussing such things and most of them, by the way, they injected themselves with a family planning method. But to me, in prayers, I could say, God, I'm not going to take any method of family planning because I'm going to work as a housemaid 
but not to sleep with any man in Saudi Arabia. So we discussed it, but then, yeah, they took it, but I even some girls took that very day. They went outside and injected themselves with a family planning method. But to me, I said no. And even I told my sister, I'm not going to take any method of family planning because I'm going as a housemaid, not a housewife. I went with, uh, okay, we were there and some girls took it that very night. That day came, like tomorrow morning, the, the um, managers came. They took us to the airport, that is the Entebbe airport. So we had to take our flight up to South, South Sudan. Uh, so we, to a place where it is called Katnam, Katnam, Katnam. I don't know how it is called, uh, the, uh, how the, uh, whether I've pronounced it well or not. So we slept there. We had to take a whole day there. We left, uh, we, we reached there at around um, five in the evening. So since we never slept the day before or the night before, we reached there, we took shower and slept. So these people came for us at night for supper at around 8 to wake us up. So we divided like uh, rooms. We were like to share the rooms, two, two people in a room. So there is a, a lady I shared with her alone. So when they came to wake us up, unfortunately men are the ones who came to wake us up. So there is a way they came in, just came in, in, it's like we didn't rock. They just came in and, you know, they started like, wake up, wake up, wake up. So we woke up and went down for our supper. So that, that, that very night when we went back to sleep, the guy came to our rooms. They started knocking seriously. Do you know knocking? And they were like, they wanted to enter by force. I was like, oh my God, I'm the one who had them first. The other, the other colleague of mine was still sleeping. So I was like, oh my God, what is this? I was shivering. I was shaking because though we have rocked the door, but we don't know whether they have the spare. Since they are the workers of that place, you never know they can use any means and enter inside so they can hurt any of us so i was shivering i woke her up and i was like are you hearing what these people are doing on the door they were knocking by force making the door to open by force so i was like oh my god so i had to remember what these people they were telling me to take a family planning method and I refused. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Now it has going to happen to me before even I reach to Saudi Arabia. So this is what I did, my dear. I told my colleague, please, because you know, my bed was straight. Like when you open the door, it is the first bed you, you see. So hers was like behind the door. So I was like, oh my God, they are going to open and find me here. So I was like, please let me sleep with you. She refused. She refused to sleep with me on her bed. So I had to go down under her bed. So I slept her. I slept under her bed the whole night. Do you know sleeping on the tails they are called? I was so shivering. I went with I went under the bed with my phone. I started texting one of the girls who were in the next room, but unfortunately no one heard them knocking on our door. Like after we have we didn't open for them, they went to the next door. They started knocking, knocking by force seriously. These people they were knocking, knocking, like making the door to open by force. Because remember, during daytime they came and opened it because we had not locked it. So they opened and just entered like that. So at this time, when we saw that at night we had to lock our doors. But they came by force, opening the doors knocking seriously so they at first they came to our door first then 
when we refused to open or to respond even to say who is this one knocking they went to the next door the next door they they did also not respond to them they went they kept on knocking to each and every door but my dear friends i slept under my friend's bed she refused me to sleep with her on her bed because i was shivering remembering what they told me and i refused it to do but unfortunately it did not happen but i was so 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 sad because of that and i went under the bed with my phone texting my friends you people are you hearing what these people are doing on the doors but no one responded by the way few among the 13 girls few heard the men knocking on their doors others slept as if they are dead so my dear i trusted in my god saying i will not take the pills and god has been so faithful i've never been attempted like like that god has been so faithful oh i'm grateful for real i never took the pills and i will never take them and he has been faithful and is still faithful i know i'm going to finish without like getting any harm from this country that's all what i wanted to share with you my dear friends though we were 13 I don't think that we are still 13 in, in Saudi Arabia because I, I, I remember like um, when we finished like three months, two girls had already gone back. One was pregnant and another one it's like was misbehaving so she, she was deported. But to me, God has been so faithful and he is still faithful. I thank God for that. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Always trust God. He can never let anyone down. Once you decide in the right way. So I salute you all to my fellow housemate. Please, if you're new, consider subscribing. Like our videos and keep coming you know keep watching our, our videos more are still coming i share my lucky journey as a housemate thank you so so much may god bless you